everybody i am audible good cool okay so you know even if one year ago someone would have told me that i'll be standing over here giving a tedx talk i would have laughed at them and here i am today standing in front of all of you so many of you and sharing the stage with such esteemed speakers so i am a data analytics manager at ion and an educator a content creator and also the owner of one stop data so i educate people in data and analytics you know data enthusiasts all over the world i help them transition into data so you know i am i was born in a very traditional family right traditional middle class indian family and like many of you here or at least some of you my parents wanted me to become an engineer i was good at studies the nerd as we call it and i thought yeah engineering is what i also want to do to mera funda simple tha pehle iit phir i am life set hai aur kya chahiye interestingly i didn't even know what i'll do if i ended up in engineering wo hota hai na pehle engineering kar lete hain then i'll figure out <laughs> kya karna hai <laughs> pehle kaun sochta hai so that was the plan right and i started with that i started preparing for the je mains exam like we all have the engineering entrance and as it looks the turns out i ended up getting a not so good rank you know it didn't work out and i went to indira gandhi delhi technical university for women so all of you here who are from dtu i'm sure you would have heard about igdtu we have a close bond guys <laughs> so maine ka koi nahi it's fine right igdtu the next stop will be i am i'll crack i am ahmedabad bangalore calcutta the top 3 i ams in the country right because it was all about getting that brand on my cv right i was earning for getting that one brand to call myself out so i prepared very hard i gave in a lot right i spent hours days weeks months and in the final year of my college i gave the cat exam which is the mba entrance exam as many of you would know i ended up getting a 99 percentile <laughs> to be exact a 99.08 percentile i still remember it it haunts me <laughs> uh, but i still failed to get in the top 3 ims maine ka koi baat nahi ek bar fir dete hain you know let's give it another shot i gave cat again the next year prepared again again scored a 99 percentile so this time i got 99.38 <laughs> i made improvement <laughs> but i still failed to get in the top 3 ims Now it may seem funny to you कि यार ये बंदी तो टॉप थ्री आई एम्स के पीछे ही पड़ गई है बट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मी फॉर मी टू गेट दैट ब्रांड कि जाना है तो टॉप पे जाना है यू नो वी आर प्रिपेयर टू थिंक दैट वे इट डेंट वर्क आउट इवन द कंपनी दैट आई ज्वाइंट एज एन एनालिस्ट ऑन द साइड इट वॉज नो टॉप कंपनी राइट इट वॉज नो मांग एज वी कॉल इट नाउ फांग से मांग हो गया सो and you know at that point i was really disheartened i really thought you know there were so many failures around me for months i was dealing those with those failures maine kaha not anymore i won't run behind brands anymore i am done following the herd i will do something that helps me create my own brand now i didn't know what that something was but it was that 22 year old girl who said i don't want to do this anymore I don't want to take that pressure of society ki yaar agar brand nahi mila to tum kya karoge if you don't get into the top colleges what you will do if i were to ask you right now you remove your college name from your identity remove your employer from your identity if you are not from iit iim dtu du who are you how would you introduce yourself how would you identify yourself what will you say your introduction is think about it and that brings me to the topic of personal branding creating an identity for yourself that is individual to you that defines you for who you are personal branding is that culmination of skills and experiences that makes you you 
that defines you, that differentiates you from everyone else. If all of you right here, right now, are from top colleges, right? DTU, DU, I'm sure, IIT. What is it that differentiates you, makes you unique? And personal branding is not just about you, right? Even if you're looking for the top employers in the world, in India, personal branding helps there as well. According to a career builder survey, 70% of employers actually scan your social media profiles before calling you or hiring you. Not just that, 43% employers look at your social media while your current employees. So I'm sure my employer would also be doing that right now. But how do you go about it? How do you create your personal brand? So there are six steps that I followed, consciously and mostly subconsciously, to first be known as Diksha Anand, and then create my own brand one-stop data, and then collaborate with the top brands in the country. All the brands, all the organizations I ever dreamed to go into have now collaborated with me through my venture, through me, or through on various social media platforms. So I would like to share those six steps with you that I followed. Step number one, figure out what your passion is. What makes you you? Now this is a very challenging aspect, right? It is a very difficult part to identify what your passion is. It took me months to realize what my passion was. I started with finance, blockchain, AI, even art and craft. <laughs> no idea where that came from. <laughs> to finally land up to data analytics. Data analytics was something that I had transitioned into as an engineer starting into data analytics. So I wanted to pursue that. Choose something that truly resonates with you, that makes you who you are, that defines you. Ask yourself, what is it that drives you? What is it that motivates you? What do you like? What do you dislike? Ask yourself these questions and you'll actually come to your passion. And even if you don't, you know, don't take passion to be as something you have to really identify in your life. Just pick up something you like. Pick up something that you enjoy doing. <laughs> Engineering was not that for me, <laughs> so I'll just say that. Step number two, choose your target audience. Personal brand is a lot about you, right? Your accomplishments, your achievements, your failures. But it is so much about the others as well. The, your personal brand value increases when you're able to add value to others' lives. So choose your target audience. Whom do you want to cater to? For me, it was people who wanted to get started in data analytics. When I was transitioning, I faced a lot of challenges in data. I had no mentors, no resources. I wanted to make sure that doesn't happen for others who want to get into this field. So that was my target audience. So choose the target audience that you resonate with. Step number three, and the most important step, grow your online presence. Now, in today's day and age, especially the digital era that we are in, online presence is very important. Right? Choose a social media platform. LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever suits you. Choose something, right? And start posting content. You don't have to be the best. You don't have to be good also. You just have to start. You, that is that one thing that will differentiate you from the majority out there. No one is doing it. Trust me when I say this. When I started with data analytics, there were hardly people who were actually posting about the most basic steps of data analytics in India. So start. Start with any platform that works for you. I started with LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is a great platform to grow your professional network. And then I diversified to Instagram, where now I have a community over 100,000 people. Fourth, be consistent. <laughs> this is not something for one day. This is not something that will help you in one week. This is something that you have to keep on doing week after week, year after year, right? You have to keep on doing it, keep on working on it. So be consistent. 
Be consistent with whatever you're doing. Be consistent with whatever you pick up. Be consistent with the platform you pick up. It is very important to not give up in the middle. So step number five, brace yourself for failure. Once you get out there, right? Once you get on the social media platforms, there are bound, there are failures bound to happen, right? There will be people who would want to put you down. There'll be people, now we have trollers. There'll be people who won't be happy with you, right? Who will not like you irrespective. They would want to put you down irrespective of the good that you're doing, the value that you're adding. Don't give up. Brace yourself for failure. And it's not just about the others that are there, right? It's also about you yourself. There will be times you will not see the positive outcome that you were planning to. There will be times when numbers will affect you. There will be times when you will think you're not good enough, you should not be doing this. Don't give up. Just when you're about to give up, magic happens. So don't. I remember, you know, I started with LinkedIn, came on Instagram, and it's been eight to 10 months I've been on Instagram. For the first five to six months, I grew from zero to 700 followers. Zero to 700. In the next two months, I crossed one lakh. So you never know what works for you. Now, I am not saying everyone has to become an influencer over here. No, you don't. <laughs> influencer is an overrated, useless term that we have. But grow your social media presence. Be there and don't give up. Step number six, keep reinventing. The world is changing. You are changing. I am not the same person I was three years ago. I'm sure you are not as well. You will keep changing and so will your personal brand. So keep reinventing. Keep changing your personal brand based on who you are, what defines you. Don't just stick to one thing and stick with it forever. Those were the six steps that I wanted to share. In the end, I would just like to say, give that extra push. Give that little step that is needed. Something that I have seen in my life is that anybody can do anything if they have the right intent and if they put in the hard work that is needed. So don't give up. Don't run behind brands. Brands are important, I won't deny, but ro don't keep running behind them. Create your own personal brand, something that defines you, something that makes you who you are, something that you, people can identify with. Create your personal brand and make sure it is, it is worthwhile because there are millions looking out for you. Thank you so much.